More than just a name, there's a long history behind a famous face in the Quad Cities. We've been telling you about the group fighting the donation of the Black Hawk statue at Watchtower Plaza in Rock Island. The group thinks the statue should be used for an educational purpose, and as News 8's Nina Burns reports, there's a lot to learn about Black Hawk. Black Hawk, a name impossible to miss while driving through the Quad Cities. But who exactly is Black Hawk? I don't know anything. I just know, I really do know about the bank and that's it. He a uh, Native American and I think he was the biggest chief. That, that's what I think. And uh, that, that's really all I know. But he was an Indian chief and they stole his land and that's kind of all I know. Though the title of chief isn't correct, according to Augustana history professor James Simonson. But he did not come from the particular clan of the Sauk people from which chiefs come. Um, so he was a leader, he was an orator, he was a, a warrior, um, but he, he does not seem to have been a chief. The warrior was born in a village called Sakanak which is in present day Rock Island. It's kind of a complicated history, but the Sauk people allegedly signed a treaty in 1804 in St. Louis, which handed over um, this portion of Illinois to the U.S. government. The warrior fought in multiple battles. One war, the Black Hawk War of 1832, even taking his name. He died of illness at 71. When he died and was buried in the traditional manner, white people dug up his bones stole his body. <laughs> That's an important part of the story for Native people is how disrespectful it is to, to steal someone's body. Hoping Black Hawk is more than just a name used across the Quad Cities. Um, so many Native nations are like, and, and keeping our culture alive and caring for our children and caring for the environment and images that just show this one snapshot don't help white folks understand who we are at all. Nina Burns, WQAD News 8. Though Black Hawk Bank and Trust stated they would reach out to Sauk and Fox Nation to determine the best way to move forward, we're told that no meeting has been set, so now there is going to be a meeting between the village of Milan and the city council. Still ahead here.